everyone welcome to the official youtube channel of dbe i pankuri jain welcome you to the next episode of the alumni spotlight 1.0 where we talk to our esteemed alumni about their experiences and corporate journey after completing their mba from dbe today we have with us harshit sir who is currently working as senior associate at bain and company he was in the batch 2019 we are really happy to have you here today how have you been doing sir okay so i'm doing great and uh, thanks so much for this it's a great initiative uh, i'll best do it so you know also it it will increase our visibility like massively so kudos uh, looking forward to this conversation with you that's great so uh, let's begin with a conversation where i'll put in forth some questions uh, that the current batch would like you to address so the first question from the batch is since you have worked as a data scientist and the importance of data is increasing nowadays so according to you how data management evolved over the recent years okay so pankuri if you look into it uh, what was data data was on like piece of papers we were uh, you know uh, creating data in diaries and in notebooks on those fronts but now with evolving technology we are we are actually creating digital data which is like everywhere so at this point in time when you are recording the session we are also creating like a data okay and every time a video is recorded a photo is clicked or even a text is sent you know we are creating data we are creating huge chunks of data every day just you and i you know we create like gbs of data every day so data is like really dynamic and volatile at this point in time because we are adding a lot of data every day to you know uh the server or or the database for for that matter so uh i think database management data management has been like really important why because it is like really sensitive it uh, contains or it captures a lot of sensitive data, uh, piece of pieces of information like my name my age my gender my address and a lot of many things my email id those things uh, which cannot be compromised so you know uh, having the right security for these data points is like really important this is one uh, point you know uh, which can actually sum this complete thing up uh, that how this complete data management has evolved over the years right great to hear that so yeah. uh, going forward to our next question as a student of the current batch who is aspiring to pursue a career in consulting how can one uh, prepare themselves for it sure so uh, i have noted a few points or I, i can talk about a few points here uh, so first one would be having great problem solving skills so you should know how to go about solving a problem so before that you should know how to break that particular problem into smaller pieces because if you don't know that you won't be able to look into like each and every aspect of it and you won't be able to go to the root level of it so you'll have to break that particular problem down first of all and then solve each that small bit after you know putting it in the right sequence so also a problem may look big but it may not be so it's always you know great to break down that particular problem into smaller pieces and then go about solving it point number one point number two uh, look at the bigger picture so so it's it's a 80 20 principle that we usually use uh, which says that you can do your your 80% of work in 20% of time and the remaining uh, 20% of work in your 80% of time so look at the bigger picture and try you know completing that 80% of work in that 20% of time so that your most of work is done and clients would be also appreciative about that that you have done a massive job in like a really small time and coming like adding on to that you have to be like really quick because in consulting uh, things are like really volatile so you have to be like really quick in understanding the problem and you know solving that particular problem next point if if i have to talk about like interviews that how uh, can one uh, like what kind of interview questions one can expect uh, from a consulting interview i would say guest image uh, that's like standard pretty like pretty standard guest image that uh, one can look into second would be the kpi building techniques and you know um, thinking about how to go about building kpis kpis are what uh, key performing indicators so you should know how to that what are the key performing indicators of what are uh, the levers that are actually affecting my my problem and you should 
look into those you should uh, not just uh, like look into those you should, you should also create new apis so to give you a small example uh, we were looking into like profitability of a particular category okay in retail so how can you go about checking those things you can see if my particular that what all brands we have in there what all subcategories do we have in there and how are those subcategories performing like in, uh, in how are those subcategories uh, categories performing uh, in terms of money you can also look into the space profitability of those uh, subcategories that what is the space or what is the space, uh, shelf space that you've given to those subcategories and how are they performing basis that so these are a few kpis that you can look into and you have to be like very quick in thinking about those kpis if you if you're studying for a consulting interview yeah i believe that this information will be really helpful for the batch so moving on to the yeah. next question uh, since you are from batch 2019 so you must have worked in office in, in the initial years so how has your transition been from a working in office then to work from home and how good or bad has it been for the work life balance okay so uh, pankuri i joined my first organization in 2019 which was dhanbi and i worked for almost 8 months from the office before the lockdown was announced and uh, since then i have been working from home uh, i used to travel from delhi to gurgaon daily and it, it used to take me somewhere around 2 hours one side uh which was like a real pain in my life and it, it was like really troublesome by the time i used to reach or reach office i was almost drained uh so this particular thing you know has been a boon for me however not meeting my colleagues in person uh not you know sitting with them and having nice discussions wide boarding these are few uh you know points which are again which have again been a pain uh here so i think a good mix of you know going to the office and working from home should be can be a great solution uh, wherein you know if if you are working from home for for two days a week or maybe three days a week uh, so th this can actually solve the complete problem moving on to our next question what is the work culture and work life at bain and company right now okay so working at bain has been like amazing uh, people here like are the best minds and you know they're like really helpful uh we so we we have this thing called uh we don't let any other bini fail so we stand together as a, as a team uh and we do not let any single person fail if if uh, there's been that kind of situation where uh he's being left behind or he's in some kind of trouble so we definitely try our best you know to take each and every person along with us so it's a great team building uh kind of an atmosphere there we work together we we work for the longest period of time like we work for over uh 10 hours a day together and uh the work culture is like really good also bain is about uh you know uh pampering their employees like anything so we we have this another thing called bean bellies okay so they 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 feed us like anything they they send out send uh, they send us good food maybe uh, twice a week or uh, something like, like that and you know uh, we we are treated like anything there so it's a, it's a great place to work work for and uh, i think consulting pays good as well so one should definitely try to you know get into consulting if, if they want to and it's a great place to be in that uh, like i personally would love to be a part of this type yeah. of company so that's great to hear so uh, what is your next stepping stone in your career we would love to know more about that okay so okay it's been only 6 months i've joined bin company and i'm still learning a lot many things so i think i i would love to you know stay here for few years and you know uh, grow in this particular field only yeah so it's been it's been great working for bain company as of now and i would love to you know grow in this particular domain only because it's less coding which i wanted and uh, yeah so i'm looking forward to my journey here at bain company that's great sir
So this is the most awaited question. That is, how has DBE played an integral role in shaping your career? Uh, okay, uh, Pankri, DBE has, uh, you know, helped me in a great fashion in building my career. I got my first job uh, from DBE and it was a great feeling altogether, you know, getting your first job and uh, also getting a dream offer you know, from a company that is treated as, as a star company for, for a campus. Uh, and the things that I learned at uh, DBE, which were about statistics, game theory, economics, and marketing have also helped me because uh, in, even, even in my last role, I was kind of working on uh, promotions and uh, campaigns, which was marketing. And even at this point in time, I'm working in retail uh, and I'm helping the world's biggest retailers with their assortment problems and uh, buying problems, wherein the economics and statistics, you know, they, they come into the picture and they, they have been like really helpful to me. Uh, they have empowered me like anything. Uh, so had I not been there, I would not been here. So I think DB, all, all the credit goes to DB for that. Yeah. Great to hear that. So we are also looking forward to uh, such information and great careers ahead. So moving on to the last leg of our conversation, what's one advice you would like to give the current batch or the batches to come? for their corporate journey that they'll commence in the near future? Okay, so uh, my first piece of advice uh, to, to the current batch or the upcoming batch would be, you know, that guys work on live projects, do as many internships that, that you can, uh, work on weekends, you know, if, if you get some time, uh, don't stop working. I completely understand, you know, that we, we are humans and we need some time off work. That's okay, but at this point in time, you know, when we have to build our careers, we have to shape uh, for a better future. Uh, I think working over weekends is a great way, you know, uh, to realize what exactly you, you want to do. Because you're studying for six days a week and then you get some time off. Just think about things that you really want to do, that you, what you really want to be. So start working towards that. Third, if you really want to stick to this domain, uh, by this domain, I mean data science or the consulting domain, you got to, you know, uh, learn a few tools, which are SQL, Python, and Tableau. Why particularly these three tools? Because uh, SQL, using SQL, you can pull data. Using Python, you can uh, manipulate data. And using Tableau, you can go you can go about presenting the data. But don't run after, after a job because we are in, a, in tough times and not everyone will get a job. So why don't look for things? that can actually help you, you know, in growing. So first thing would be stocks, invest as much money as you can. Uh, don't, you know, invest just like that, gain some knowledge. Also uh, the knowledge that we get from our textbooks and from our teachers, it will be like definitely like helpful, uh, supply, demand, price, prices, and you know, um, how the prices of commodities fluctuate those things so you can using those, those bits of information you can actually go about starting to invest and you you are like really young to invest and this is the right age to start investing we we recently saw you know that on shark tank uh, there were great business business ideas you know that that came up and they they got a huge amount of funding uh, you know to work on their their business ideas so just don't look for a job at dbe learn as much as you can and try implementing those things in your in your life so that you can actually go about creating something big for yourself. So this, this would be my pieces of advice uh, to the current batch and the coming batches. Thank you so much, sir. I'm sure that this piece of advice will surely help our batches. So th Great. thank you so much for all the insightful answers that you gave and I'm sure that it will help all our viewers Thank you for taking out time and sharing your experience with us. Thanks so much, Pangri. It was a pleasure talking to you. Okay, thank you all for watching this video. We'll see you in the next episode of our YouTube series, The Alumni Spotlight. Do share it with someone who might benefit from it. Thank you.